Very few see past the wolves in sheep clothing, waiting to pounce and claim a new victim. You patiently remember yourself before the way, and you become grateful for the way, and realize it isn't for you to guide everyone to the way. If only those on the way would see that they need no other way than the way, then they would be given dominion over those who don't follow the way. Unfortunately, diseases of the heart spread to the brain and the limbs like cancer, and many who are on the way are losing their way. Why were you chosen for this way? How did it become your job to educate about the way? What happens when the propaganda machine places its target upon you for following the way? Will you be strong? Will you abandon the way? Will you compromise like so many others who were born on the way? What will your family do? Will the way protect them from the evil of this machine? So many questions unanswered, but you must trust the way. It is the only word that you know now. There is no going back from the way now. You eat, you breathe, you act upon the way better than those that are born on the way. Those born on the way who have lost their way are starting to compromise with the machine. Illusions of grandeur and material wealth have blinded them to the truth. They have abandoned their way. It is only a matter of time until the machine will come after my way. They know you still speak about the way to the people who want to listen. You see them in the audience with dark glasses and trench coats. They never say anything to you but watch attentively as people question you about the way. By the time you make it to them, they are gone back into the shadows from which they came, reporting back to the machine that sent them. One time, they called you on the phone and said, can we meet with you? You called your lawyer, and that never happened again. You used to be afraid, but the way has taught you composure and patience in all matters. The way has become your moral guiding compass that can't be taken away by the machine, those in glasses and trench coats, or even death. The way is in your chest, your mind, and it pumps through your blood with life and understanding of fate of your fellow man. The way is like a pair of glasses that is given to someone that restores their sight. It's like a hearing aid that is given to someone who is deaf that can now hear. The way has become your seeing, your seeing, your hearing, and your speaking at all times. There is no other way.